This episode of Kind of Funny Games Cast is brought to you by Movement Watches. Movement Watches was founded on the belief that style shouldn't break the bank. The watchmaker's goal is to change the way consumers think about fashion by offering high-quality, minimalist products at revolutionary prices. With over 500,000 watches sold to customers in 160-plus countries around the world, Movement Watches has solidified itself as the world's fastest-growing watch company. Greg Miller has his sexy one with the red hands and the black face. Ooh, baby. It looks nice. Movement watches start at just $95. At a department store, you're looking at $400 to $500. Movement figured out that by selling online, they were able to cut out the middleman and retail markup, providing the best possible price. We're talking about classic design, quality construction, and styled minimalism. You know I'm a fan of that. You can get 15% off today with free shipping, free returns, by going to movementwatches.com slash kinda. That's M-V-M-T watches.com slash kinda. Okay? Join the movement. The most important game I want to tell you guys about that I played is actually an arcade game. <gasps> yeah. It's what? Shocking. Where did you so, find an arcade game? What so dumpster was this in? I played this um, during the, the break, and I, I forgot to, to tell you guys about it uh, when I got back, but it is, it's called Killer Queen. Now, it's a really random, obscure game, and it's, one of the, it's a hipster thing where it's just like you hear about it, and it's like word of mouth, and it just kind of spreads. Okay. This is an old game. came out in 20, uh, 2013. And uh, Kotaku's covered a long time ago. By no means am I breaking news of this thing. But this shit's fun as hell, and we need to play it. Okay. So Killer Queen is a real-time strategy platform video game developed by Josh DeBonis and Nikita Mikros. The world's only 10-player arcade strategy game, two teams, each led by a powerful queen, face off to be the first to bring the giant snail god home, fill their hive with nectar, or execute a triple assassination on the enemy queen. So here's the thing. In 2013, first started it in uh, NYU, these guys made this game. And people started like falling in love with it just locally, people there. And they're like, all right, let's get this into a couple more places. And now it's in 20, 23, 23 different locations um, in America. And it's kind of a word of, word of mouth thing where it's just like people are traveling to go play this game. Sure. Luckily, one of the locations is in San Francisco oh, nice. at this place called Brewcade. Yeah, I was going to say, I played this. Yeah, oh, did I, you? Yeah, I, 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 played, I played at a risk tournament um, at that bar and then went and we played that game or whatever. So I, 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 Fucking I, I, awesome. But I don't remember really, I remember really not understanding it. To be so honest. that's the beauty of it. So <laughs> this game is so unique and the experience I had playing it was so unique in that it is such a community driven title where I was out with my friends and we're just drinking and shit. Did and you then, just run into this game or did you go looking I was out. Us? I was out. We had dinner. We were drinking and then it was like, oh, what do you guys want to do next? And my friend's like, oh, there's this like uh, bar arcade. We should go check it out. And he's like, actually, they have this game that I keep hearing about called Killer Queen and it's one of the only locations in America. And I was like, I, what the, I've never even heard about this. And some guy telling me about a video game. I was like, this is fucking really weird. Shut up, Colonel. Yeah. Uh, and so it was me, Danny, Vincent, and Curran, and we're just like, I mean, I, like, let's go, let's go check it out and see what's up. And he was talking about, it. he's like, yeah, it's like this multiplayer game. We have teams, and people get super serious about it. And I was like, we're gonna go fuck these motherfuckers up, right? So we're feeling real confident. We go down there, we start playing, and we're just like, we're about to wreck shop in these dudes. We saw a group of people playing on the other machine. We're like, oh, fuck these guys. Yeah, we got our asses kicked. Sure. So As you'd badly. Expect. So here, here's what the game is. It's two arcade machines, right? Uh-huh. And uh, five players each. So it's five on five. And the, the idea is it's a dollar for all 10 players to play. So that's the best part about it. It's just like it's super cheap to, to get in. And you really do need five players on each team or else it's like super unbalanced and not, okay. not fun at all. But where that adds... The, the the fun is that you just start grabbing random motherfuckers around you like, yo, play with us, right? Mm-hmm. Because you you just need to play one round you get super into this thing. Losers have to pay for the next round. Ah. So winners stay on the, the console all night, right? Sure. So we put down a dollar, got our asses kicked. We play another dollar, got our asses kicked. Another dollar, $20 later. Jesus. We're still getting our asses kicked and this other team has only paid $2 because we only won once and they played the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just like addicting is all fuck, right? We had no idea what we were doing. By the time we were $20 in, we kind of had an idea of what we were doing. And that is the beauty of this game. Doesn't really explain the rules too well, but as you start playing it more and more, you're like, oh, I get the strategy here. I understand how this all works. 
There's it. You can see it down here. Are you playing it, Kev? It, it's kind of like yeah, this is the one I played this. Yeah, it, it's kind of like a Super Smash Brothers esque map, played like Towerfall would be played, right? But strategy. So the strategy comes in is there's three different ways to win at any given moment. Okay. So at the bottom, there's a giant snail. All right. Yeah. And it moves really slowly across the bottom of the screen. If you get on the snail, you ride it, and if you get it across your goal, you automatically win. That's one way, but that snail is slow as fuck. And if people come down and kill you, they can get on it and start riding it the other way. So it's classic tug of war. The other way, each team has one queen. You're flying around as a queen. The queen has the ability. She has a sword that can kill and she can strike down kind of like links down a in Smash Bros. You just go straight. out, Right. So death from above. If you kill the queen three times, you win. Okay. So the queen's kind of like, it's a protect the queen type thing. Then the other way, if you can go back Kev, to the game, at the top of the level, the, the two the honeycomb eggs. looking things you see, yeah. the red and the blue, there's 12 little holes that you can go down and get these little purple berries. If you get 12 berries to the top, you win. But then there's those, there's these like in the, the kind of middle, there's like the, <laughs> there's doors, right? There's like a triangle of doors. Yeah. If you get a berry and bring it into the door, you upgrade to a warrior. So okay. there's three classes, drone, warrior, queen. The, the drone can pick up berries and ride the snail. The warrior can kill people. And then the queen is, there's only one queen, right? Gotcha. So there's the strategy there of if you're a warrior, you can't pick up the berries and you can't ride the snail. So the only way you can win is attack the, the queen. But if you're a drone, you can't attack, but you can only bring the berries up or ride the snail when there's only five players on each team and everyone's trying to do a different goal. It gets fucking intense and it gets super crazy because people will start camping up at the, the honeycomb area. So these drones coming up and there's just a warrior up there fucking massacring these motherfuckers. You have unlimited lives except for the queen. And uh, it was the most fun I've had with a video game in so long wow. where we played for forever. We were also drunk and that's the beauty of this. You're just drunk at a bar, a bunch of people having fun. So pulling random people on and just be like, yo, play with us. We need a fifth. We need a fifth. It's just how, the my, most fun part. For me, I'm, uh, how big is the machine? Is it like uh, X-Men Arcade where I'm all shoved in? Or is it like we're spread out and like... Uh, it's it's a bigger... Ver- it, X-Men Arcade is the like 4x3 yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. This is a 16x9. So okay. you're getting a bit more space. Okay. But not too much. You are still right up on everyone's shit. But you're right next to the other team. So there's a lot of shit talking mm. going on. Which is like even more fun. Sure. But what's cool is as we were playing, cause we only had four guys. So we continuously had to grab this table next to us. We kept grabbing people. And when we walked away from the system, the whole table just got up and started That's playing. Fun. So it really is kind of one of those things where you learn from the people around you and the team next to us that was destroying us started giving us like hints and sure. tips on how to get better at it. And it was yeah, awesome. Up, I, this is everything with like that. I was looking into it afterwards. There's a whole bunch of Facebook communities and there's tournaments and stuff where people set, create teams and travel and do it kind of like nice. adult kickball and dodgeball yeah, yeah, teams. Yeah. But this one, you know, it's not it's lame, video games, not lame. As yeah, fuck. yeah. You don't have to, you don't have to sweat. Um, I'm absolutely in love with it. I think awesome. we should, we need to go down to this place, do a let's play. Um, it, it was thrilling. It's absolutely cool. And if, whenever someone wins from the snail, it's like the most satisfying thing ever. Okay. Because it's just like that's so insulting because that thing's so slow. But I love the how the, the game kind of shifts because everybody's just trying to kill the queen. There's always some sneaky bastard trying to get all the honeycomb things. The snail is just like the thing no one worries about until it gets about two-thirds across the screen. Yeah, yeah. Then it's like everyone stop what the fuck you're doing and get that goddamn snail. We got to kill the snail. We got a snail, snail situation. So anyways, Killer Queen. Check out Killer Queen Game on Twitter. You can find out where you can locate an arcade near you that has one. Surprisingly well varied across America. It's, it's like not too many in California, not too many in New York, and then each state kind of has one. So it's Interesting. pretty nice. Pretty nice. You should definitely check that shit out.